If A, B and C are three mutually exclusive and exhaustive events and if 3P of A equals to 2P of B equals to 6P of C then find out P of A union B. Important thing is A, B and C are mutually exclusive and exhaustive. And what is the rule? Okay. If the events are mutually exclusive and exhaustive then summation of their probabilities should be 1. That means P of A plus P of B plus P of C equals to 1. Because A, B and C are three mutually exclusive and exhaustive events. Now the relationship. 3 P of A equals to 2 P of B. 3 P of A equals to 2 P of B. That means P of B equals to 3 by 2 P of A. P of B equals to 3 by 2 P of A. Similarly, 3 P of A equals to 6 P of C. 3 P of A equals to 6 P of C. That means P of C equals to 3 by 6 P of A. Now we can substitute this relationship in this formula. What will happen? P of A plus instead of P of B 3 by 2 P of A plus instead of P of C, P of C 3 by 6 P of A is equal to 1. Yes. Now 6 is LCM. 6 divided by 1 6 into 1 6 plus 6 divided by 2 3 into 3 9 plus 6 divided by 6 1 into 3 3 equals to 1 sorry P of A into P of A that means 6 plus 9 15 plus 3 18 by 6 P of A equals to 1 that means 3 P of A equals to 1 therefore P of A equals to 1 by 3 18 divided by 6 that means 3 so ultimately 3 P of A equals to 1 and therefore P equals to 1 by 3 now we know that P, equal, P of A equals to 1 by 3 and we have relationship 3 P of A equals to 2 P of B and that means P of B equals to 3 by 2 P of A that means P of B equals to 3 by 2 into 1 by 3 and therefore P of B equals to 1 by 2. Now we know that A, B and C are mutually exclusive events. So what will happen? P of A union B equals to P of A plus P of B. Since they are mutually exclusive, simultaneous happening, that means intersection is not possible. So ultimately it is 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2. Again, LCM is 6. 6 divided by 3, 2. 2 into 1, 2. Plus 6 divided by 2, 3. 3 into 1, 3. So ultimately, P of A union B comes to 5 by 6. The important turning point is this. First of all, on the basis of this relationship, we can find the relationship between P of A and P of B. Similarly, we can find relationship between P of A and P of C. 
and now substitute that relationship into this equation p of a plus p of b plus p of c equals to 1 yes we know that now p of b equals to 3 by 2 p of a so p of a plus p of b means 3 by 2 p of a plus p of c means 3 by 6 p of a 2 and 6 so lcm can be 6 and simplification gives us 18 by 6 that means 3 p of a equals to 1 so ultimately p of a is 1 by 3 now substitute this relationship into p of b equals to 3 by 2 that means p of b is 3 by 2 into 1 by 3 so ultimately p of b comes to 1 by 2 again a and b are mutually exclusive because a b and c are mutually exclusive so a and b must be mutually exclusive that means intersection is not possible just addition will give you the answer of union Okay?